الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم إن المتقين إن المتقين في جنة النعيم Verily the muttaqeen أهل التقوى أهل إيمان أهل كتاب والسنة That they are That they will be uh, Inhabitants of Jannah and Naim They will be inhabitants Of paradise And have full Naim They will be fully Comforted With all the pleasures That you could have imagined in the dunya And that you can Only begin to conceive of as far as the Akhirah, that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned fi kitabihi and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned in his authentic sunnah that all those pleasures, the pleasures of paradise, the pleasures is for ahl taqwa Ahl Iman. And Ahl Taqwa wa Ahl Iman, Habatifillah, which should be no mystery for us, are those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who adhere to the commandments of Allah wa ta'ala. And avoid his prohibitions. They adhere to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid his prohibitions. Hada ahla taqwa. This is the people of taqwa, the people of Iman. And so, ahabatifillah. If we were to Put ourselves on that scale or the mizan to see where we fit and how we measure up, then I think many of us will be will become aware and become disappointed. And that the reason for that is because taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requires that we practice what we understand from the book and the sunnah. That we avoid the prohibitions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah wa ta'ala says, La taqrabu zina. Don't, don't go near adultery. Then that means the one who practices that, they avoid zina. Not only do they not indulge in zina and adultery and fornication, but they avoid it. They lower their gaze. They uh, avoid pornography. They avoid all of the ills and the steps to zina. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands them, then they follow those commands. For example, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa aqimu salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to establish the prayer. Wa'qimu salat. Establish the prayer. So that's from ta'atillah. And establishing the prayer, that is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning it's an act of ibadah. It is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. It's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala com commands and he orders and he is pleased with from his servants. 
And by being of the people of Salat, in a general way, if you're establishing the prayer properly, with ikhlas, and following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi then you're from Ahl Taqwa, bi'idnillah ta'ala. Then that's a form of taqwa. So that's why adhering to the commandments of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and avoiding His prohibitions, this is taqwa Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala by all of His divine names and attributes to bless us to be from Ahl Iman wa Ahl Taqwa and be to be from the inhabitants of Jannata Jannah to Fardos. Ameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Wa sallam.